Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike. I am the American Analyst, and today we're going to be looking at an opinion piece from the New York Times, Trump to New York, drop dead. Notice they at least gave the president the common courtesy of not making that a direct quote. If you like what I do, please be sure to subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitter and Minds, and like this video. Let's get into it. Okay, so jumping right into this one, this article um, by I mean, who is Jennifer uh, Senor? Um, it, it's basically just a perfect example of the narcissism that is constantly on display in today's media. This person has literally, literally no idea for anyone outside of herself or in this case, her city, and I, I, although I believe, I believe the city is more of an analogy for her. Um, basically, the article is about she wants Trump to release the national stockpile of ventilators to New York. So, in accordance with the Defense Production Act. Um, one of the things that the government stockpiles, in addition to things like um, steel and ammunition and oil and coal, like essential commodities to keep the country running, in addition to those, there are some medical supplies, and ventilators are one of them. And we'll get to it a little bit later, but New York has a deficit right now, and she wants to the president to release them. So beginning she says the coronavirus is ripping through the state especially new york city at a terrifying rate we need personnel ventilators protective personnel equipment stat look at that personnel personnel this is perfect this is a perfect example second paragraph in so, so you're going to take people from other states and bring them to new york that's your proposed solution is we're going to take people from outside of New York and put them to work because we're in trouble. Okay, there's a, there's a whole other country. The whole rest of the country. is We're all dealing with this. It's not just New York City. But I don't think this person actually entirely realizes that. So, the coup de grace, you could say. The governor has already said that the state is 30,000 ventilators short. The only way to acquire the volume we need is through federal intervention, which means sending us the bulk of the ventor from the national stockpile, which has roughly 20,000. Roughly 20,000. So think about that. New York is 30,000 short. The entire national stockpile of ventilators is 20,000. So they're still, they're still 10,000 ventilators short if we send them the entire stockpile. I don't think you understand the purpose of a stockpile. A stockpile. They say later that Pence is sending 4,000 to New York. So one, what is that? One fourth of the, one fifth rather of the national stockpile is going to New York. That seems pretty good. That's more than the that's more than their population like in a, if you compare it out to the rest of the country so one fifth you're getting one fifth and she says that's still not enough a fine start but nowhere near what new york needs well look there's a whole rest of the country there's an entire country 330 million americans new york has what 11 million new york city and new york state is probably 15 million maybe and you want the entire stockpile of ventilators now uh, uh, someone might say and fair point that you know you don't live in new york we need to get this under control in new york and it's okay yeah yeah we do but i don't think the answer is literally staking all of our resources on cutting it off in new york nowhere else i mean look california has got a bet california is right now deploying drones to fly over their state and make sure people aren't violating quarantine 
Florida has it pretty bad. The, the mayor of the city of Miami has the coronavirus. But this person only sees New York as having the problem. And it's one of the biggest problems with the, the media class, you could say, the fourth estate, is that the narcissism is palpable. Like, there's no other problems anywhere else. Not only that, it wouldn't even solve the problem. <laughs> You're still 10,000 ventilators short. 10,000 ventilators short. Like, yeah, I, I agree. She makes a point about the Defense Production Act, that we need to bring all of our manufacturing back from China, at least um, at least the essential manufacturing. Um, and I totally agree with that, 100%. That should have been done a long time ago. I mean, we wouldn't make bullets in China. We wouldn't make our tanks in China. We just wouldn't do that. But for some reason, uh, we thought it was okay to make our medicine there and our ventilators and our masks. No. Yeah. So I totally agree. Get this back. Get all this manufacturing back. The problem is they've kind of got us uh, in a stranglehold for now. The Chinese, I mean. Because until this blows over, we have to keep buying things from them. Because it's not set up here yet. It's going to take a couple of months to set things up here. So, I mean, until that, once this blows over, pull it all out. All at once. Say, so, yeah, yeah, sorry. We're not really making these here anymore. <laughs> um, I think that's the only thing to do. I think that's the only thing to do. When I have seen um, companies stepping up. There are clothing companies who said, look, we're going to switch over to masks temporarily. It's like, yeah, great. I, that's, that's great. That's the type of things that, that we need to do. We all need to, to come together right now. What we don't need to do is panic and say, look, well, there's, there's 20,000 ventilators in the national stockpile. Send them all here. Send them all here. Well, okay, well, it's only going to solve two-thirds of the problem, and it's probably going to get worse. Don't care. Send them all here. While you're at it, just uh, send all the all the fuel and all the tanks and everything else. Just send it all to New York. Forget about the rest of the country. It's it's crazy. It's crazy that this is her argument. That okay, it seems like four thousand out of the national stockpile of twenty thousand. It seems like you would say, hey, you know, at least we got something. But no, no, she wants literally. <laughs> The whole, the whole thing. I can't believe it. I can't believe someone would actually do that. Um, and I mean, that's that's pretty much the stock of it. I mean, she, she says this is malevolence on on Trump's part, um, attributing it to him not liking um, cities, or maybe not him liking them, but maybe not him not liking cities, but cities not liking him. So he's getting back at them. He calls New York. I love there's one quote in here, which I absolutely love. And she, she thinks it's like a really positive thing. Okay, it's here. Um, we, are <laughs> we are multiculturalism personified. Home of the United Nations, a place where 637 languages and dialects are spoken. A puree, while the rest of the nation is, veg is vegetable soup. Oh, God. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? As, as Spalding Gray once lovingly said, I love how she thinks that's positive. Like, like oh, man, like New York, it's a beautiful puree. puree. The rest of you, <laughs> you guys are just gross. <laughs> uh, why would you put this in your article? <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, I thought that was just absolutely hilarious. So I'll leave it. I'll leave it um, there for today. I think that the you can't panic, which is clearly what this person is doing. This person is panicking. New York has it bad. We need to come together. We need to support each other in every way that we can. But the the answer is not to empty the national stockpile. Like there was that story. I think it was during the early Obama years when uh gas prices went up to about four uh five dollars um in some cities uh per gallon and people were saying please release some of the national stockpile just release that it'll be fine it's like no 
that is four emergencies. <laughs> That's four emergencies. Why why people did that? Why people suggested that? I I don't think I'll ever know. And it is for emergencies. And this is certainly qualifies, but we do need to make sure that is very carefully used. Like look, everybody is going to have shortages. I give it a week and it's here in Chicago. A week. But we can't the my answer won't be, "Hey, Oh, great. You still have 16,000 left. Send them all to Chicago. No. No, it's a terrible thing to do. You have to think about the entire country. If you like what I do, please be sure to subscribe to me here on YouTube. Like this video. Follow me on Twitter and Minds. Have a good evening. Thank you all for listening. This is Mike, the American Analyst. Follow me on Twitter, Minds, and subscribe to me on YouTube. And be sure to hit that bell notification. I'll be coming out with new videos every single day for your viewing enjoyment. Have a good one.